Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today we're talking naked brand stock, ticker symbol NAKD. As a disclaimer, this is not investment advice. This is just a research video that I put together meant to be educational as well as entertaining. I'm going to put us into a few different news clippings and articles surrounding the company as of recently. Thank you for your time. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps people find the channel and my content. Please enjoy. Okay, let's take a look at this article from Barron's, how AMC and Naked Brands are seizing on the short squeeze to raise cash. So this article came out this past week, the, probably the one of the most wildest weeks uh, in my short investing career, for sure. I'm going to go through the entire article. I want to focus right here where it states, one is Naked Brand, whose stock price has nearly tripled this week as individual investors pile in the swimwear and intimate Apparel company said Wednesday that it would sell roughly 50 million of shares in an at-the-market offering based on a prospectus filed in October. Naked Brands doesn't have any public debt, but the stock sale would almost certainly strengthen its balance sheet. It has a 16.7 million bank loan facility with the Bank of New Zealand and a 6.5 million of convertible notes privately sold to lenders in 2020. So as I see it, uh, with this type of news, right, it's uh, perhaps it can do a few different things. And we're going to take a look at a few other articles, but it could it could dilute the shares, driving the price down slightly. And I believe the price is going to be at 170 or it can significantly help the stock price depending on where it's at. But if they're buying it at 170, regardless of what it is at at that time that's the price that naked brand will be selling it at so let's pay attention you know with what we can understand and try to wrap our head around what would happen regardless of the stock prices north or south of that what would happen to the price once that happens that's really the only thing that we should pay attention to uh, if you're trying to come out ahead right which i believe you are unless you're a shorter uh unless you're a short you know what then okay cool if you want the stock price to go up because you really believe that the company is worth more in the future which for all intents purposes which is why myself somebody who is investing in it is looking for it to do i'm looking for this stock to go up so that's all. Well, let's continue. Okay, let's take a quick look at the financials. Obviously, not a deep dive into their financials, but let's just take a look at some of their quarterly financials from last year. And I'm noticing that there's a, lot, a few negatives in a few different places. However, hey, look, one thing that uh, stands out to me about this company is the cash on hand. They have a healthy amount of it, and they're about to receive some more. So anytime that a company receives, in my opinion, a healthy amount of additional to their stockpile of cash, perhaps they can use that to influence and move in a different direction or at least proceed and progress with some more positive outlooks for their future. And that's really all I wanted to get into it with and of course you know their operating income their net profit margin their net income they're there those are negative signs they're not the most attractive let's you know uh, take just try to take a mental picture here and let's look at another let's compare them with like Nike okay obviously two completely different companies and year to date, right? Nike is kind of just obviously it's very predictive. Look at the price. Obviously, the price action is crazy. The more recent, Naked has popped. It's gone well over a hundred percent. And the financials are just uh, look at the the market cap are are completely different, right? 
169, let's call it 170 billion market cap for Nike, 158 million for Naked. You know, 75, over 75,000 employees for Nike, 375 employees for Naked. So the there's not even a, a P ratio or dividend yield with Nike brand. So obviously I'm comparing David and Goliath here, right? But it's just important to understand as much as you can about a company while you're investing into it. And that's really the key that I'm trying to make a disclaimer about is don't get too excited about a company with these numbers. That's It's just a fundamental approach. And yes, a lot of people like to throw fundamentals out of the window. I don't. And it's just, it's just important for me to understand these numbers. And I, and I do my best to research a company both technically, fundamentally, momentum-wise, and really what is in a company is just as important as what the company is putting out. And that is really my thesis for the research. I want to understand it as much as I can and see, are they making some changes to it? Because it obviously needs changes if they want to compare, right? If they want to, if they want to be taken serious and if a, a naked brand wants to be bought more by people, then they had better do some things differently in the future. Okay, let's jump into Nasdaq.com article. It's incredibly likely that naked stock is also seeing gains in connection with these other stocks increasing. They're talking about AMC, GameStop, BlackBerry, Tootsie Roll. Uh, I think I saw Blockbuster. All right. One of the catalysts that draws in Wall Street bets investors is recent good news from a company. Now, let me just stop right here. I think that it's... Okay, you want to call out, you know, the Reddit group for, you know, wanting to invest in a company that has good news. You know, that's every, that's everybody, you know, I got a golf, a golf buddy who's told me a stock tip. You know what? It's not getting as glamorified uh, compared to the Wall Street Bets group. So I think it's just funny how it, it gets talked about a lot. But it's everyone does it. Everybody is doing it, and nowadays it's looked down upon because it's in a social media group. You know what? Oh well. Yeah, in my opinion, you know, I don't want to get too political here, or whatever. But it's a good trade whenever you see something being shorted, and all of a sudden momentum shifts the other ways, causing a short squeeze. That's just a technical maneuver. And sorry if you get hurt in the way. A lot of people get hurt in the stock market. You pay for your education in the stock market. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. Okay, let's continue on with the article. In the case of Naked Brand, it recently announced plans to refocus its business on e-commerce and expand its digital storefront. Naked Stock has traded more than 960 million shares as of this writing. And I believe it's gone up ever since. And that's a massive increase over the stock's daily average, adding volume of 150 million shares. So all the article is trying to hype up its connection with some of the other short shorted uh, stocks. And you know what? Okay. It's not that hard to find public information where the buy to sell ratio is in one way or another. And it's a good trade. So just pay attention, really. And you you move at your own risk. Let's continue. Assume a company has 10 shareholders that own one share apiece, or 10% of the company each. If the company issues 10 new shares and one new investor buys them all, it now has 20 shares outstanding. The new investor owns 50% of the company, and the original 10 investors have seen their ownership decrease to 5% apiece. This is share dilution, which reduces the value of an individual investment and can drastically impact a portfolio. Shares become diluted when shareholders convert optional securities, when a company raises capital by making a secondary offering, or when a company offers new shares in exchange for acquisitions or services. The warning signs investors should watch for relate to any emerging capital needs or growth opportunities. 
A company may need money to cover expenses and liabilities. Funding large ventures or projects like the construction of a new manufacturing plant leads many companies to roll out secondary offerings. Another warning sign is a company granting employees a large number of optional securities. Firms calculate and report a diluted earnings per share value that shows what the shares would be worth if executive stock options, equity warrants, and convertible bonds were converted to common shares. The if converted and treasury stock methods are used to address each class of a company's potentially dilutive securities. Financial statements reveal dilutive EPS values, making them easy to analyze. Investors need to watch for the signals of potential share dilution and understand how this might impact their investments and portfolios. Okay, so now that we understand, hopefully, what share dilution means, let's take a look at the Naked Brand Group website on their investors page. Naked Brand Group announces pricing of 50 million registered direct offering price at the market. Naked Brand Group Limited, a global leader in intimate apparel and swimwear, today announced that it has entered into securities purchase agreements with certain institutional investors for the issuance and sale of 29,415,000 of its ordinary shares at a price of $1.70 per share. For aggregate gross proceeds of approximately $50 million. In a registered direct offering price at the market under NASDAQ rules. The offering is expected to close on or about February 1, 2021. Subject to the satisfaction of customary closing conditions. So now that we understand and now it's very clear about... They don't go into much about, obviously, they're not going to say what it's going to do to it, but the these are shares that are ordinary shares, but it's at a certain price. So it's not like they're outstanding shares. So the dilution factor is still kind of, it's, you know, I don't have a crystal ball here. So I think personally that the money is going to be used Right, we saw that they want to go into e-commerce and they want to they need some help lifting their brand. They're a penny stock, now they're above a dollar, so now they're trying to establish some in my opinion, they're trying to establish some sort of sentiment to becoming a major player in this field. So it's not an American company where we would have perhaps known about this a little bit more, but since it's being traded under Nasdaq rules, I think that it's safe to say that the company, there's there is a light at the end of the tunnel is what I'm trying to get to for this company. So again, move at your own risk, understand what you're buying, know what you own, understand what you own, and just proceed with caution. That's really all that I have for this company. That's my research. I have a position into it, so I have skin in the game. And yes, this past week was wild, but... Honestly, I didn't want to make a video about GameStop and Robinhood and this, this, and that. Honest, on the mechanics of brokerages, there, there's a lot of moving parts. So I understand it. I even tweeted out, delete Robinhood, whatever. You know, I need to just chill out because I got a little upset because I wasn't able to buy as the price was moving down. Normally, in a position that I'm excited about and i shouldn't be getting excited about stock really uh, i should just keep my cool stick to my game plan but i started noticing that i wasn't able to buy shares and this greatly pissed me off and i wanted to understand why and i don't want to get into too much about why the robin hood company decided to do what they did after hearing from the CEO. I I just wasn't going to make a video about it. I'm sure you've heard enough about it by now. So that's all I got. All right, let's take a look at my trading view. This is just the past week of the trading window for Naked Brand Group. I'm going to do a little bit of some technical work here. I'm going to draw a trend line from a previous pop, it's hard to find any sort of 
support or you know definitely there's a resistance in the high t in the mid twos so let's just use some tops and some bottoms here let's create a little funnel let's have some fun obviously it can go anyway we know this right the stock can it can plummet but around the 220 mark which by coincidence is where i opened up a position and then the following day i was restricted from buying as it was moving down so i would have liked to have dollar cost average as the price dipped but i wasn't able to however i believe the restriction is off so i could if i wanted to continue to buy as i see that it's a good buying opportunity below this trend line and if it's at a resistance level around that 170 mark where perhaps the shares are being sold at, it could dilute it, right? It could drop down a little bit. Maybe it finds some legs and then maybe it ascends. Who knows? It can do anything. But I'm definitely playing it like this. If I believe in this company and I think that it should do well, then I will continue to buy because I'm bullish on a company that is looking to get into the e-commerce game. And who knows where it can go from here. So thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe. It helps people find my channel. If there's another company, ETF, or an IPO that you'd like to see me research, just drop it in the comment section below. Okay, y'all have a good weekend. Take care.